Hello and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Our top story, a tragedy right before Christmas as a 58-year-old woman died after crashing her vehicle into Wood Lake on Wednesday. According to witnesses, the driver of the Jeep lost control on the highway and flipped into the lake after smashing into a cement barrier. We had quite a few uh, civilians uh, stopped at that scene. A tractor trailer driver, a female tractor dr trailer driver, she uh, went into the water, tried to assist uh, a few other civilians that were driving by, stopped, tried to, uh, to assist. Road conditions may have been a factor in the crash. Castanet brought you an exclusive story this week after a Lake Country man's dog was caught in a conibear trap while out for a walk on Oyama Lake Road. Now the man and his family are warning others to use caution when walking along Crown Land because traps could be anywhere. We would like everybody to know that once you cross onto the Crown Land boundary that your dogs are in danger. It's, the trappers have a legal right to trap here, but um, the public maybe doesn't know that. And we'd like everybody to know that so that you keep your dog on a leash and keep your kids close. Conservation says the trap was set legally, but placing signs along trappers' lines is not viable due to theft and tampering of the traps. RCMP evacuated 12 to 15 homes in a Peachland neighborhood Thursday night after a man claimed to have a bomb. To our knowledge, there is no bomb. He had indicated that he had some wires and, you know, held them up, and we didn't know to what extent that meant, like were they hooked up to anything. And like I said, we erred on the side of caution that we didn't know what the wires meant and uh, just basically cleared the area for uh, everybody's safety. The man was eventually arrested and taken to Kelowna General Hospital. Christmas is only a few days away, and as everyone is preparing for the festivities, the Kelowna Food Bank was handing out their holiday food hampers. On an average day throughout the year, we serve about 100 households per day, but during our Christmas three days, we're serving anywhere between 300 and 600 households. So it's definitely the three busiest days of the year, and it takes a lot of volunteers and a lot of manpower to make it happen. Well, that wraps up Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski, and from everyone here at Castanet, we wish you and your family the best this holiday season. Remember to send your news tips to news at castanet.net and follow us on Twitter at, at Castanet News.